Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Some very interesting questions. Number one, Dr. Bob, why no honey? No honey because honey is 95% sucrose. That's sugar. But Dr. Bob, honey is natural because I know people ask me that all the time. We have pancreases today that are exhausted. You may have left neck and mid back pain because of eating honey. If you want to consume honey, that's okay, but you'd be wiser to avoid honey. Just saying. Especially today with all the herbicides and pesticides that they spray on plants, I'm not even sure how healthy honey is anymore. Dr. Bob, I saw on your shake the head video, no Tums. Tums are basically calcium rocks that throw off your digestive process. You will have chronic long-term digestive health problems because the calcium in Tums is going to alter your digestion. A better alternative would be a digestive enzyme with your meals. It will make a big difference. Now this individual had a long, 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 long question. The bottom line was they have joint pain all over their body. Anytime you see joint pain all over the body, you may be wise to have some testing done to make sure you don't have any type of arthritis in your body. When people have multiple joint pains also, it usually could be food related. So have some work done. Go see uh, a rheumatologist and just make sure that you don't have a, a very severe arthritis problem. Dr. Bob, you said no tofu. Here's what goes on with soy. And you know, soy is really a controversial subject because I know that our friends that are vegans and vegetarians, it's one of their primary sources of protein. I know from my experience that um, soy products tend to decrease the amount of zinc in your body. They may tend to increase the amount of aluminum in your body. They decrease an enzyme in your body called trypsin and chymotrypsin. You know, I don't really promote soy for anybody. I don't even think cows should eat soy. You know, it, it is amazing how that can alter your body function. Most soy, believe it or not, is genetically altered or modified. And it's going to throw the system off, so I would just stay away from it. Kale would be, is the, it, kale is the new beef. Kale is my replacement for soy. We use a pea protein in our practice, PEA, and we also use a pumpkin protein. Contact us. We'll be happy to send it to you anywhere in the world. Here's another interesting one. Dr. Bob, I use Clorox daily. You recommend something else. Well, my question to you is like, what do you use Clorox for daily? Just breathing the Clorox in is, is antagonizing your thyroid gland and your iodine level. So I don't know what you're using the Clorox for. Um, I'm not even sure what a safe alternative is because I want you to know that so many of these chemicals today are very toxic to our system. So if you're going to use Clorox, you're going to have to wear a mask just to prevent you from burning the inside of your system out. Last question. Dr. Bob, some time ago you mentioned a friend got cancer from consuming vinegar. And actually this person was on a diet. The diet consisted of popcorn and vinegar. Do not ask me why they ever wanted to do that, but they ended up dying of kidney disease. Um, they wanted to know if apple cider vinegar is okay. If you're going to use any kind of vinegar, organic apple cider vinegar would be a very nice replacement. You know what, you might want to throw some balsamic vinegar on your salad. It is sweet, so there could be an issue with that. I want you to stay away from distilled vinegar because it's going to place a demand on your body. Great questions. Thank you for watching the Shake the Head videos. I know that could be a little controversial, but what we notice is every reason, there's reasons that I shake my head for every one of them. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.